Another big problem for the naturalist is that the assumptions necessary to do science come from a biblical worldview, not an atheistic yeah. one. Let's consider some points about why science works. Number one, there is objective truth, and God is the source of truth. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, postmodernism claims truth is relative. Yes. What's true for you is not true for me. So let's jump off a cliff together and see if gravity is true for both of us. Yeah, get the answer pretty quick. <laughs> now, we can't run experiments or make conclusions unless we can verify facts. Yeah. If water boils at 100 degrees Celsius one day, 150 the next day, and then 90 the day after that, well, making tea would be a real problem. Yeah, and other things too. Yeah. But <laughs> number two, the universe is real, which fits with the Bible yeah. because in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Right. But many Eastern religions claim that the universe is an illusion. It's not real. Uh, there's, there's no point to running scientific experiments on an illusion. You don't get science that way. If you think boiling water is an illusion, try sticking your hand in it. Again, reality yeah, really, doesn't yeah. support that anyway. <laughs> the universe is orderly because God is a God of order, not confusion. Yes. Science involves deriving laws that provide predictable outcomes, which requires order. If the universe is just a big thought, as some <laughs> Eastern religions claim, well, it could change its mind any minute. Right. <laughs> and why expect order if the universe was made by several gods like Zeus fighting each other, or if it made itself? Right, yes. Yeah. Number four, God is sovereign, free to create yes. as he pleased. Uh, the way to find out how his creation works is to investigate and experiment, not rely on man-made philosophies. Johann Kepler discovered the planets move in ellipses around the sun, while Greek philosophies had insisted on circles because mm -hmm. they're the most perfect shapes. Right. Now, that this didn't match the observations, so they added an increasingly complex system of circles upon circles called epicycles. Number five, people can and should investigate the world because God gave us dominion over his creation in Genesis 128, right. showing creation itself is not divine. Kepler referred to his own scientific thoughts as thinking God's thoughts after him. Yes, yeah, I love that. Number six, people can initiate thoughts and actions. Mm -hmm. The Bible affirms man is more than matter. In Matthew 10, 28, uh, Jesus said, and do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. So matter alone cannot explain things like consciousness and emotions. No. Evolutionist J.B.S. Haldane admitted, this is a lot of fun here, if my mental processes are determined wholly by the motions of atoms in my brain, I have no reason to suppose my beliefs are true. <laughs> and hence, I have no reason for supposing that my brain is composed of atoms. <laughs> <Good> point. <laughs> Yeah. Naturalism is a dead end, right? If naturalism is true, no one can be a free thinker. Right. Number seven, people can think rationally and logically, and logic itself is objective, because yes. we were created in God's image. But we're not God, and we're in a fallen state due to sin, so we should never exalt our own reasoning above God. If evolution is true, that there'd be selection only for survival advantage, not necessarily rationality. Right. Number eight, Results should be reported honestly because yes. God has forbidden false witness. Mm -hmm. Now, if evolution is true, why not lie? Good point. Sad to yeah. say, scientific fraud has become an increasing problem. We've said before that it, it's not that atheists can't be moral, it's just that they have no objective basis for morality within their atheistic worldview. All of these assumptions needed to do science fit within a biblical worldview.